Today we will talk about a popular SQL toolset and object relational mapper SQL Alchemy. Let's begin by looking at some characteristics of SQL Alchemy. SQL Alchemy is written in Python. It provides an application developer with all SQL's power and flexibility. It is a cross-platform software that is open source and distributed under the MIT license. The object model and database schema may be developed in a clear decoupled manner thanks to SQL Alchemy's Object Relational Mapper ORM, which allows classes to be mapped to the database. We must first understand how the SQL Alchemy core functions before delving into the ORM. The functionalities that we are talking about are segregated into four different classes. The first one is DB API. To define how Python modules that link with databases should expose their interfaces, the Python DB API, an acronym for Database API was developed. It's important to be aware that this API dictates how typical methods like connect, close, commit, and rollback must work even though we won't interface with it directly. Instead, we'll use SQL Alchemy's as a front. As a result, we can be sure to find these functions and that they will perform as intended anytime we use a Python module that compiles with the standard. Second we have is SQL Alchemy's engine. We must build an engine each time we want to utilize SQL Alchemy to communicate with database. On SQL Alchemy, engines are used to manage pulls and dialects, two important components, right? These two ideas will be explained in more detail in the following two sections. But for the time being, it is the sufficient to know that SQL Alchemy uses them to communicate with DB API functions. Then we have SQL Alchemy connection pools. One of the earliest application of the object pool design is connecting pooling. Caches of ready to use pre-initialized objects are what object pools are used for. In other words, the software retrieves an existing object from the pool uses it as needed and then returns it after usage rather than spending time creating things that are frequently needed. Finally, we have SQL Alchemy dialects. We must utilize dialects because SQL Alchemy is a facet that enables Python programmers to design applications that interface with many database engines using the same API. The majority of widely used relational databases on the market today follow the SQL that is structured query language standard but also include proprietary modifications. The existence of dialects is entirely due to the variations. On that note, let's move forward and glance through the term ORM. ORM helps in accomplishing data conversion between incompatible type systems in object-oriented programming languages. Non-scalar types are typically present in the type system of an object-oriented language like Python. These are not expressible as primitive kinds like string and integers. To conclude this, SQL Alchemy provides a nice, Pythonic way of interacting with databases. So rather than just dealing with differences between specific dialect of traditional SQL such as MySQL or PostgreSQL or Oracle, you can leverage the Pythonic framework of SQL Alchemy to streamline your workflow and more efficiently query your data.